Hi everyone, welcome to the my 2.1.1, which is part of strings, string methods class. So in this class, we will learn about most useful string methods and we will start with the join string method and we will continue with the others. And they are really so useful in the programming, which is when you start to work with the string uh, so you, in some cases you need to apply these methods to make your jobs easier okay all right let's get started with the 2.1.1 which is the continued of the string class let's get started with the string uh, join method okay so i'm going to teach you this join method in different way this is string method and like the explanation of that join iterable of like strings by a separator which means we will join with the this string method to the lists or the strings in some way we will add their like between the items our comma or the, our stars our different signs to just separate them all right Firstly, I just want to convert a list to a string in Python. I mean and I will show you format, okay? Like how we can do that. For example, let's say we have a list like that. The list name is the car. I mean, like variables is cars. And I'm just creating my list. By the way, I didn't teach you about list, but just ignore these things right now. Just focus on the string method, like join method, okay? Uh, after that, I will explain everything perfectly about list and tuples and the other things too, okay? In this case, I have some items, for example, like brand, like brand of cars, right? In this case, I can say Ford, I can say Tesla, I can say, um, I don't know, Volkswagen, I mean, by the way, Volkswagen is like what, uh, I can write it like that, or I don't know, I don't remember how to write it. <laughs> And then we can say, let's say, um, Mercedes. And we can use, I mean, what more BMW, BMW, like that. All right, this is some items, I mean, okay, not important, just I want to teach you for, like uh, the concept. And I just want to join this values with this like comma separator okay the first case will be that let's say join it join it um cars let's say join it cars after that we will use a system to make it for example first i just creating my string like with the double quotation and i'm just like um adding there a comma like that because we will join between each of the this items i mean this items with the comma okay and we will just delete this uh, quotations plus and this list brackets anyway just ignore them for right now right now let's say go in so by the way if you click on the dot you will see many more like string formats we will use most of them uh, in the next classes, but in this classes, just I will show you most useful one, okay? Uh, so we will start with the join one, like this one. And let me show you an example how we work with it. It is easy, just add your variable, which is our list variable. So it says cars in this case, and let's just print it, okay? And see what will happen after you do you do it okay so let's run it and see what will happen can you see that in here it says like fourth then we have comma then we have tesla and after that we have comma then volkswagen comma mercedes comma bmw did you see that we now have any list brackets even also either i mean list brackets and this quotations, which is uh, converted from list to a uh, string in this case, okay, with the join string method. 
Okay, this is the first example. Let's continue with the another example. The another one can be, um, by the way, I just want to show you one more thing. For example, it can be like this one too. I mean, let's try it. What will happen? All right, let's run this file. Can you see in here? Now it is like separator is different, right? Like, like different way. So what if I join there with the, this one, I mean, star, in this case, there will be stars, right? Like that. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see in here. Now we have stars between them. And if we want, we can just put a space between them and we can just do it like that too. All right. This is the way how we separating items or how we converting from list to the strings okay because this is string methods let's continue with another example the join method can concatenate a list of strings into a single string for example but it will accept any other iterable of strings as well too so let's say i just want to make something like um let's say numbers like then we can say range range means like uh, counting numbers okay from like some numbers to some number i mean for example we have start value stop value step value for example let's say i want to count from one to ten like i can say ten it will just count it like one two three four five six anyway until ten okay i will explain you all of them later let's continue with our work okay so now we can say number string like that Okay, and just we can join this with the empty um, quotations like that. So like empty points, not any spaces. And we can just say join and we can join to the like numbers in different way. For example, first, um, in this case, like first, I want to make our numbers uh, from integer to string how I can convert from integer to string because in range this value is already integer right this range function is helping us to create integer numbers so I just want to convert it from integer to string how I can do that I will add in this join for like string format a string method a loop okay I will use for loop into it like that i will say string n for example this means like number okay so i already converted from integer to string right now and just later of it i can say for n which is for number it means in numbers right numbers is our variable first variable which is we counting in the range function right from like one to ten right so we just set our string n which is we converted from integer to string right now and we just say for n value in numbers which is it will count n each time like like that n plus one n plus two like that and it will continue like that all right so just we need to say print number string like that. That's all. You don't need to write a lot of codes. Let's run it and see the solution. Did you see that? We just concatenated all these numbers into that with the string value. So if we check it with the type, let, let's check it what will happen. Let's say type like that. And let's run it and see class is string can you see that what if we say numbers firstly we worked on it right this one i mean numbers if you run it it will say class range but 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 if we didn't add here this string like but if you say directly like that what will happen it just said expected string instance integer found integer found means it's saying you like 
hey, you want to make some operation with this, like quotations, you want to join with this empty uh, separator to the integer value, like uh, numbers. It is not normal, like it is integer found. It has to be string. And what we are saying, we're saying copy that, put it here, just make it string. That's all. When you run it, Okay, just put our another value. What if we say n? Does it work? No, because n is not defined. N is just in here, okay? So let's add our number string in here, okay? If you say number like n for n, like some starter value, it, it will work too, okay? We'll say class is string, right? It works. That's all for that, okay? I hope you understand how it works. For example, I can separate it with the have like that, or even, by the way, let's delete this type. Let's delete the other parentheses too. Let's run it. You can see that it works amazingly, right? We even we can add like some different things too. We can make it much better for the viewing, right? like that or even if we add like star it will look like better maybe i'm not sure like if you're working on some project just you can evaluate it and you can apply that's all for the join method okay you can use join method when you want to separate the like items from the list or the from the strings or from the integer to the like string you can use this method that's all for about uh join string method See you in the split uh, string method class. Okay, it will be two point, which is this one is 2.1.1. The another one will be 2.1.2, for example. Okay, see you there.